Hot FM. I ingat masa tu darjah 6, nama bulan ni Zawawi. I cari dia sampai sekarang, I tak jumpa. Zawawi, if you watching this, kira satu kelas kot masa darjah 6. But kau pernah cakap benda ni kat aku, aku ingat sampai sekarang. Dia random tau, dia random. Tiba-tiba dia, kita orang memang macam kawan-kawan. Random je, dia datang kat kat dia macam, Sarah, walaupun kau gemuk, tapi kau cantik. Saraja React bersama Roti Sausage. Ya, yeah. hari ni kita nak react apa? Okay, hi Sarah. Hai. Okay, hari ni saya nak tunjukkan you satu video social eksperimen. Okay. okay. Tajuk dia, um, apa apa benda yang orang stranger mm-hmm. pernah cakap kat you tapi benda yang paling baik? thing I've ever been told. Oh, the kindest thing anyone said to me. Oh, so what I'm gonna do? That's tough. That's tough. Wow. Kenapa susah? Sebab lagi ramai orang yang jahat daripada mulut baik. So, um, recently one of my patients uh, told me, or thanked me for wearing my scarf and being who I am. What the the climate we're we're in, I think that was the sweetest thing or the kindest thing that in my it made my day at the end of the day. So you know, um, you always worry about what people think, and then him telling me it just you know it it actually it meant a lot. So I was I was happy. My father told me. Um, And this isn't the only time he's told me, but there's this one specific time in 12th grade where he looked me just deep into the eyes and said, Ethan, I'm proud of the man that you are and I love you. And that was one of the kindest things that I've ever been told. How did it make you feel? Loved, worthy, um, worthy. enough. Well, I work with special needs kids and, and um, one of the mothers one day told me that as part of the family, um, because Her uh, child actually learned how to say my name and is one of the five words that he can say. And I think that hit home with a lot of chords that I became part of the family. So it just felt like, I don't know, it felt like the world was better, brighter after that, so. Someone once told me I was a tortilla to their taco. How does that make you feel? Well, Mexicans love tacos. So Belum pernah lagi orang cakap, kau ni Sarah macam begu. That's a pretty big deal. <laughs> I love when people tell me that I have a beautiful smile or just that their smile makes their, or my smile makes their day. Um, cause it makes me want to keep smiling and it makes me feel really good. <laughs> I'm proud of you. Who said it? My mother. Made me feel special, big, humongous. She seen me. Uh, I had simple, much I'm way, proud of you. I've been in the past and just seen the um, many steps I've taken to better myself. To and, yeah. So the kindest thing I've been ever been told is thank you. Um, a patient of mine came back a couple months after having her baby and thanked me for delivering her baby. Um, she went out of her way to do it. And it's, it was I was having a bad day at work and it really made my day. And she went out of her way to thank me. My job is really hard and I sacrificed a lot to do what I do. And a lot of times it's a lot of stress and not very many thanks. Um, and really the thank yous are Yeah, exactly. Are really what makes me say my thank day. you to and our really doctors. Actually, um, actually. makes my job work well. So I met somebody that I'd worked with many years ago. I was walking down the street and bumped into them. And they saw me and they ran up to me and hugged me and screamed and smiled and said, oh, how are you? How are you doing? It's really good to see you. And you're amazing. And you did something that changed my life. And that was great. It was fantastic. It made me feel good, but I couldn't actually remember what it was I did. <laughs> so did that what banyak sangat kindness sampai sebenarnya dia tak sedar pun apa dia buat untuk tolong dia. Slightly unhappy that I didn't remember the issue or the event. Recently, my mom told me to forgive myself. Lately, I've been really being hard on myself for yeah, to forgive mistakes yourself. I might have made when I didn't know a better way. How did it make you feel when she first told you that? to forgive yourself can be the kindest like thing to say to a person. Saw me. I have a best friend that I grew up with, my best friend in the whole world, and he went on to become a commercial airline pilot and very successful in the, in the army. 
I called him up to congratulate him, and the nicest thing anyone said to me is what he said, which is he said, it's all because of you. And I said, well, where did I work into this? And he said, you were an example to me to get into sports and to be competitive. And it made me feel so good that I had, I had no idea that I had even had an impact on him, let alone he yeah, looked at me as a tribute to his success. And I memorized a poem to go along with that. Well, now that I, I recollect, you know, I can't think of any. I think uh, I think most people these it. days don't take time out to say kind words to each other. I think we need to spend more time saying kind things to each other, you know? And I think that's what's lacking in the world today. There you go. How do you think we can do that? How can we make it a point to do that more often? Uh, we just got to make a, a mental note, just like I'm out here running and exercising. I can make a, a, a matter of fact, before this is over with, I'm going to say something kind to you. <laughs> so that's, that's where I'm going to start. I'm going to start right here, and I'm going to say something kind to you. You know, you're doing a wonderful job with your, with your videotaping, and uh, you seem to bring out the best in people with what you're doing. I think you ought to continue doing that. I say it's a really heartwarming video. Sebab bila kita tengok, sometimes the simplest thing as a thank you pun sebenarnya boleh buat orang tu ingat sebab bila-bila. It means that hidup dia sebenarnya tak ramai pun orang say thank you dekat dia. So bila kita ikhlas, kita cakap thank you tu, dia boleh ingat sebab bila-bila. And macam benda-benda simple je. Macam I'm proud of you. You're doing a good job. You have a good heart. You have a beautiful smile. Benda-benda macam tu actually means a lot to some people. Walaupun pada korang, dia macam biasa je. Macam okay, terima kasih. Orang puji kita, kita macam okay, terima kasih Tapi pada orang tu, mungkin itu is the kindest thing yang dia pernah dengar Sebab kita tak tahu background orang, kita tak tahu apa orang rasa Kita tak tahu apa orang hadapi hari-hari Kita tak boleh assume semua orang sama dengan kita So bila kita ada peluang to say the nicest thing, to say the kindest thing Ambil peluang tu Kalau dalam hidup you lah, yang orang paling baik yang pernah cakap kat you I ingat masa tu darjah 6, nama budak ni Zawawi I cari dia sampai sekarang, I tak jumpa. Zawawi, if you watching this, kita satu kelas kot masa dah jam 6. But kau pernah cakap benda ni kat aku, aku ingat sampai sekarang. Dia random tau, dia random. Tiba-tiba kita orang memang macam kawan-kawan. Random je, dia datang kat kakak, dia macam, Sarah, walaupun kau gemuk, tapi kau cantik. I pun macam, wow. Sampai sekarang, I ingat apa dia cakap tu. Sebab I rasa it's, dia cakap masa dia cakap tu ikhlas. Sebab, Tak ada sebab untuk tiba-tiba dia cakap benda tu. So, I rasa benda tu ikat ikhlas. And dia kawan yang baik juga dengan I. So, I rasa macam that's the sweetest thing orang pernah cakap dekat I. Sampai sekarang, I macam ingat. Dan sampai sekarang, I percaya I cantik. Sebab engkau, Zawawi. <laughs> Keyakinan I selama I hidup ni datang daripada Zawawi. I nak tunjuk you video ni sebab... You know, uh, banyak benda jadi kan? Ya. Yeah. Uh, maybe not 2020 lah. I mean, sepanjang hidup lah sebenarnya. Sepanjang hidup but particularly this year lah. Yeah. It's a hard so, year for everybody. Everyone dan ramai juga yang ada masa tak baik. Mm. Ada yang kehilangan orang yang tersayang. Ada yeah. yang hilang kerja. So, uh, ramai orang yang dah mental health dia orang dah ni lah. Tak berapa okay. Terganggu. Terganggu. Kenapa bila orang show kindness dan ada recorded lah mm-hmm. kan benda tu macam viral adakah kindness ni sekarang ada benda tu punya rap ya yeah. saya rasa sebab tu Sebab kindness ni adalah ber- Kindness towards st- strangers Yang sebenarnya rap Dengan adik-beradik kita Dengan family kita memang kita baik Tapi Untuk kita buat baik Dengan orang kita tak kenal Secara random Secara tiba-tiba Secara ikhlas Tanpa mengharapkan balasan Tu dah jarang Sebab sekarang semua orang I rasa macam I can only talk Based on experience Yang kita tengok orang Malaysia lah kan uh, Mungkin dia orang punya hidup tu Tertekan Kita punya hidup susah Sebab tertekan Dengan keadaan sekeliling Stress kerja Kerja tak ada Gaji sikit Cost of living tinggi So kita tend to be more selfish Kita lagi fikir Pasal diri kita Daripada orang lain Kita nak sibuk Nak selamatkan diri kita Daripada diri orang lain So bila kita Nampak sesuatu yang Eh orang ni Fikir ke orang lain dulu Sebelum diri dia sendiri ah Kita rasa benda tu macam Rare Tapi dia pun susah juga Tapi sebenarnya dia pun susah juga Cuma dia ada peluang Untuk membantu pada waktu tu So dia membantulah pada waktu tu 
I pun dah lama tak buat kebaikan ni. Apa benda baik? Benda baik yang last I, aku pernah buat apa aku tak ingat dah. Maknanya dah lama tak buat baik. Yeah. So, ada cermin tak? Hot FM.